Hello boys and girls, it's uh, Greg, sorry about that, it's uh, Greg again, um, just thought I'd do a video of uh, what I've been up to, I know it's only about dinner time over here, but oh wow, um, yeah, but as you can see, I'm at my granddad's, um, yeah, I just finished mow uh, mowing the lawn, uh, chewing up all the leaves, so yeah, and my granddad's been trimming a few bushes which have uh, got out of hand and stuff. Yeah, it look, it's looking alright now. Once we get the garden rotated and I get that planted for next year. Oh, next year I get it planted. Um, it look alright, but the roses have gone over. The bushes, so the rose right in the corner here, I see you looking at, can uh, hopefully flower next year because it's feeling like crowded. But so get the bushes away from that. Um, I've got a few onions coming up, real late ones, normally they're up by now. But uh, yeah, also what I want to do today is uh, give you guys a give you guys a tour of uh, the garden equipment like the mower, the hedge trimmers and chainsaws and saw uh, um, Strimmers, aka if you watch this in Canada, weed whackers. We call them strimmers for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna take you around the garden now, show you what we've been doing. I've harvested the last, last bit of beetroot I've harvested today. So, just the uh, few bit, few onions, but I doubt we'll get many of them. Um, yeah, so let's go and have a look. Oh. So yes, yeah, it's not it's not too cold here today. It's cloudy and all, but it's not too cold. There's a a bench me and my granddad's founded property. Um, yeah, here's the rose bed. This is where my nan buried her cats. This is where she buried her cats when they died, so and planted a rose on top of each other, on top of them, but. They haven't come to much in the recent years, but so this is what we're doing today. There's a few bushes there, over there. We cut out. They were getting too big. Oh. Pretty. He's a bit late. <laughs> He's a bit late, boys and girls. Let's see what one they're doing here. The garden's looking. bit bland because it's got nothing in like so I'm gonna pile off for the burn pile off for the burn one day uh, this is the bed where I have my sweet corn I know, I know I don't want to rotate him but I'll do that in the spring that's the other project he was he was up here so we cut him back and trimmed him up there's the rubbish there's the rubbish boys. Yeah, there's the uh, uh, runner bean sticks. They're the good ones for next year. They're the ones there that are going to go for uh, firewood. Here's the other other project we've been working on. There's a, a flower bed in here. Or I don't call it flower. I won't call it a flower, but it's a garden. So I started it was all asbestos so we dug it out and level off and we put dirt at the top if you watch your previous videos you'll find out about that let's check this out one point hang on boys hang on hang on boys just going for the burn pile windy day facing that way we'll Set this boy light. Some of that stuff smells real nice, so there's still a few yellow ones. Nice, nice yellow rose. We got down here. Oh, we got down here, boys. Oh yeah, cut down, cut down there as well. Um, this bit here, but in the spring I want to put some grass seed here. Tomatoes are finished now. 
It's just a junk store. Yeah, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Um, what are we doing now then? Let's go down, oh, let's go in the shed first. Let's go in the shed, boys. So here we are in the shed. It's where he keeps all the fertilizer, fertilizer and sprays and stuff. So there's a few of the handheld sprayers. One there, one there. Um, a load of junk and stuff. Bailing twine, good stuff. All odd bits and the uh, straight edge. All bits of wire and rope and stuff. A uh, big water tank under here. Uh, this was already water, the water tank was already in here, and then they put the shed around the water tank. So, if you wanted to get the water tank out, you'd have to literally knock the shed down. Ooh, that's a nice. Let me sit down a bit, boys. Oh, a nice uh, fireplace grate there. Oops, sorry, boys. Uh, yeah, nice fireplace grate there. Got a selection of. Spades and forks and shovels and rakes. I don't know stuff. This is knapsack spray. He uses for spraying like ro the roses and potatoes and all the herbs, herbicides. And there's some roundup. This is an older style, older style sprayer. Um, yeah, it, it, it works well, fine, it works well, but it's not a size spray. He's got a few old hand saws, a big one, a big one here. So yeah, that's the potting shed, as I'd call it, tools. Um, I'll leave it open, I don't know. into the other shed and I'll show you the equipment tools. The, uh, pardon me boys. A load of blocks of the trees from our place. That's the trees from my place so we just got to chop them up for firewood. Uh, bin full of rotten stuff to go skip. Now we get into the interesting stuff boys. Right then. We have a echo chainsaw. It's a CS three thousand. It's a nifty little chainsaw. I uh, want to clean, but that's nothing. We got a little, little, small. Uh, t uh, rotivated tiller. Um, I don't know the name make of that one. That's, a, that's an old one. We've got a, a robin weed whacker. That's the one I'm more uh, accustomed to. He's got a, a robin HT. 231 head strummer. Uh, that works well. That works real well. Down here. Don't face on me, boys. Face on me. He bought a Beckman um, a garden and DIY uh, multi attachment um, machine. So it's got a chainsaw. The hedge trimmer and the strimmer attachments, but we only use it. We haven't used it really because we've got the lip then. Um, it works, but if you wanted a multi attachment um, like unit, so for example, the hedge cutter, this chainsaw, and the strimmer attachments, I'd go for I'd buy a still 
because they are uh, quality machines. Um, we got a, we got a. Honda HRH536 Pro Hydrostatic Lawnmower. I'd say uh, I love this. This is this is um, my favourite bit kit because I, I I use it when I help him. Uh, I was when he was working for estate agents, so I used to use that to cut the grass. He used to go in and strim with a robin's robin str uh, and I used to mow make it look nice with metal so yeah I like this bit of kit if I started my uh, lawn care business up um, I don't I, I, I would want this this setup that we've got here we've also got a big oh, Honda F360 petrol uh, rotivator that's what we use to uh, Rotivate the garden. There you go, boys. You see? So yeah, that's and there's the attachments. The hedge trimmer and the horse trimmer. But as I say, we don't use them much. So yeah, we've got a little other stuff in here. No sat cart. Another bit faded, but another fire grate. Uh, there's the other wheels for the uh, rotivator, and there's the plow attach the furrow, one furrow plow attachment, so you can do a spud, so you can plant spuds, potatoes, whatever. I think they had discs for it as well. As I say, I've never used them. So yeah, not a lot more going on, probably. Um, you know, not a bit late. Uh, not a lot going on. It's not, it's not as I say, it's not really cold down here. It's quite, quite warm actually. That's alright, I was wondering about the gloves. So, yeah, tonight I might be playing uh, Minecraft on the Xbox with uh, one of my subscribers, her son. So, yeah, that should be fun. Um, I finally reached. No, I'm not funny. I've reached. That's uh, when the green is. Have a talk. <laughs> I've reached uh, 11 subscribers, uh, so yeah, thanks for the subscribe people, if you want to see more videos like this of what I do, I'm hopefully trying to get a uh, proper camera, so I can, and a tripod and all, so I can uh, record myself, like, say for example, mowing, or doing stuff in the garage, or strimming, or gardening, whatever, so yeah. But I would like to, if I could, as I say, um, learn to drive and set up a uh, like lawn care gardening business because that's what my granddad. That's what my granddad used to do uh, when he was working, like grass cutting, etc. So yeah. Anyway, so that's all for now, boys. I'll catch you later. So please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, favourite if you want to see more. And thanks for watching.